Hey guys, Antihero Sora here, welcome you back to Let's Play Magic Duels. In the last episode, we did the third match for the blue deck with Jay's Bellerin. And today we're going to continue on with the fourth match of blue. And see what else we can learn from blue. So. So last episode we d experienced some count well not experience we did some countering and a little bit of milling so if you haven't watched those episodes yet and don't understand those concepts go watch the previous episodes for blue and we'll and then you'll kind of understand it a little bit so I've explained somewhat how to counter and mill so yeah just go check those out alright so we are going to have a hand of what so we're gonna have three islands a two three phantom oh sphinx tulage okay you know what I'm gonna keep this hand just for sphinx tulage because if you've watched the second episode of blue you'll understand why sphinx's toolage is such a great card all right so i'm gonna play land and i can't really do anything so we want to get sphinx's toolage out as soon as we can so all right so we're gonna play that and then Jace's Phantasm. Flying, Jace's Phantasm gets plus four plus four as long as an opponent has ten or more cards in his or her graveyard. Ooh, that's actually kind of good for a one drop. But just because of its ability, I'm going to wait in in playing it, so I'm not gonna play just yet, just because I wanna use that ability. Because if he has ten or more cards in his graveyard. That will be a 5-5 five five creature for one mana. That's ridiculous. So I'm going to play Sphinx's Toolage. Because why wouldn't you? Oh my god. See, now every time we draw a card, he has to, dip, he has to mill two cards from his library. So in pretty much five turns, Jace's Phantasm will be a 5-5. Five five. All right, so that that's gonna power up all the other soldier creatures that he plays. So, and speaking of soldier, Lead Vanguard, we remember that card. All right, so Sphinx's Toolage activates. He has to discard or mill two cards, so he is down to four. So. We can... Hmm, what do I want to do? I'm going to play Phantasmal Dragon. Just so I have a blocker that can withstand his attacks. And if he... No, he's not attacking. And he's summoning another veteran swordsmith. So having two of them basically boosts both of them. So that's getting kind of dangerous. Sphinx is too large again. He has to discard. Or mill. Sorry. Alright, so... I am going to send out my blind phantasm. And then I will... Should I attack? The game says yes. Hmm. If I attack, I'll take 8 damage definitely next turn. But if I don't attack, I will have at least... I will only take like 4, so... Until I can get like enough creatures on the field, 
I'm going to wait. First strike, when it enters the battlefield, reveal top four cards of your hand, put all sorts of cards revealed this way into your hand, and the rest of the bottom of your library in any order. Ooh, that's kind of dangerous. So let's see how many cards. So he has two cards going to his hand, and two planes going to the bottom. And of course, why wouldn't he summon it right now? Alright, that 4-3 is a little dangerous, so I'm going to attack. Or not attack. See, now he has 10, cre 10 cards in his graveyard. Now, when I play Jace's Phantasm, it becomes a 5-5. Five -five, which is good. And then I will I'll play the Phantom Warrior. So now it's telling me to block or not block attack but I don't want to attack see my strategy is the Sphinx is two ledge every time I draw a card he mills two so the more cards I draw the more he has to mill and that's basic and so I'm not destroying him with sheer force I'm destroying him with like milling so I'm definitely going to lose a creature the question is which creature do I want to block with? I'm going to do my phantasmal dragon because if he activates an instance that targets it yeah Target creature gets plus two, plus four. So that was a good move. Defending with my Phantasmal Dragon because I still have enough attack, I still have enough power to kill him. Unfortunately, my dragon's dead. So. That's kind of. And another elite vanguard. So he's building up an army, but he's not really attacking. It's kind of good. So I'm going to attack. Oh, that would be a good card for when I block. I am going to summon Azure Mage. And I'm going to save that for later for next turn. I'm going to skip the attack because I don't like how he has so many creatures. So what I'm going to do is if he attacks me, I'm going to activate turn the tide. And is he going to attack? No, he is not. Instead, he's gonna summon another creature. Hmm. Lucky for me, with Turn the Tide, his creature there will be 1-1 one, one, so I can block with my Phantom Warrior and still have enough, and Phantom Warrior would still be alive, so that's good. So. Again, I'm not gonna block because I'm trying to take him out by depleting his library. So. Blue normally takes a while to play, so. Like, look at, look at how my board is. And I only have four mana. Again, he's not attacking. It's kind of bizarre. So, question is, do I want to summon up another Phantasmal Dragon? Yeah. Because I could have activated Azure Mage's effect to draw a card, which would have made him mill two more. So, I'm going to skip attack. So, 
So he currently has one creature more than I do, but that's okay. Because he's not attacking me for some reason, and he keeps playing more cards. So. Oh, sweet. I get another island. Which means I can summon my Nimbus. So I'm going to summon my Nimbus. I'm trying to get as much blockers on the field as I can. So. Alright, sorry about that. Um, it is my turn. So I'm going to just skip attack. Yeah, sorry about that interruption. But let's see what he's going to do. He knows all my creatures can kill his. So... Sphinx's Toolage is going to make him mill two more. So. How many land do I have? Six. Hmm. Draw a card, then discard a card. And this is just draw a card. I'm going to get another Nimbus out there just for safety. And oh, I did my math wrong. I thought I would still have enough for turn the tide. Alright, so I currently have 13 in the air. So 16 next turn with my other Nimbus. But he's almost out of cards. So, I'm surprised he's not willing to attack. Alright, oh man, this is gonna be fun. Oh my god. You know how um, Sphinx's Toolage makes him mill two cards every time we draw a card? Well, I'm going to play Divination, which lets us draw two cards, which means he has to mill four cards. So, he only has three cards left. So, this is going to be interesting. Because next turn, he's gone. Because I'll draw a card for my for my upkeep. He'll have to mill two, and he only has two. So in other words, there's no way he's going to win because he has to mill two cards. So it's over. He knows it. Alright, so... Bam, Sphinx is Toolage. He mills two. Oh my god, and... Hell, why not? I'm gonna activate this ability. Just to make him mill more. And I'm going to skip my attack and end my turn and he's dead because he doesn't have any cards in his library to draw so that ladies and gentlemen is how blue works you want to get rid of your opponent's library and make sure that they can draw a card so that's typically how blue plays 
so if you like this video like comment subscribe and check out my facebook and twitter for updates on videos and whatnot i've been anti-hero sora thanks for watching